Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. This is where we talk about money, finances, where we give you information to help you make the best financial decisions possible. I talk a lot about investing and today's gonna to be pretty much exactly the same. Uh, so when it comes to the rise of zero fee investment providers or platforms, if you will, um, there are two, certainly from a popularity point of view that I get questions about all of the time. And those two are Trading212 and Free Trade. Now, I've already done a review on Trading212. I did that a few months back, but I haven't yet got around to Free Trades. And by the way, if this is the kind of content that you're looking for where you're in a position where you're looking to invest money and you basically want to know the pros and cons of any of the providers, then you definitely need to go watch my uh, review videos. There's a number of them, but definitely start with Trading212, which will make more sense when you watch this video as well. That's the artwork for it right there. So go check that out after this video. Um, for today though, I do wanna talk about Trading212. It's a review that I should have done a while back, probably around about the same time as I did uh, Trading212, but I just didn't get around to it. So this is the day. So as always, when I'm doing these reviews, I think it's really important for me to just state, you know, I am a financial services professional. I'm a qualified financial advisor. I've worked in the industry for 15 years, the last eight, it, particularly in um, wealth management. So when I look at this, I do use a little bit of my knowledge, but I try and strip it back and think, well, if I was a first time investor, would the information that the providers give you or give me allow me to make the best decision without me necessarily second guessing myself. And that's the whole purpose of these review videos. Now, because of what they do, I'm gonna be taking a slightly different stance and I'm going to be looking at it from the point of view of, yes, is their service good? Do they tick the two massive priorities that I always say to you guys are, Add amount and non-negotiable. Those are important things, but I'm also gonna be looking at the information they give you when it comes to selecting stocks. Um, if you've watched my videos or you've attended any of my lives, I do those every two weeks, by the way. So on a Sunday evening at 9 p.m., the next one is in a couple of weeks time. And then you'll know that understanding the business that you're gonna buy shares in is really important. So I'm gonna be looking at that specifically in this review. And I'm also going to attempt to answer the question of are they better than trading 212? Whatever the answer is, I'll give you my reasons for them and hopefully it will empower you on your decision making process when it comes to getting invested and starting to build and create wealth uh, in the future. Now, just to kick things off, I think it's really important to understand exactly what Trading212 and Free Trade do and why they're so popular. So they allow you to do fractional investing. And what that basically means is that you don't have to have the full $1,400 or $1,500 for a Tesla stock in order to begin investing. With the likes of Hargreaves, Lansdowne, where I hold most of my shares, that is the case. I have to have $1,400, literally, or the pound equivalent, in order to buy one share in Tesla. I have to have that amount. Therefore, the barrier to entry is pretty high. With Trading212 and Free Trade, what they've been able to do, which is great, is allow you to invest and buy these companies with as little as 10 pounds, or one pound if you like, even. And what that basically means is they've lowered the bar barrier to entry massively and it gives you the ability to begin to buy companies understand how the stock market works understand how businesses and and stocks work in order for you to build wealth in the future it's certainly allowing people to start early which is one of my big regrets one thing that i wish that i did was start early so they are doing a fantastic job and it's a much needed role that they're playing as well so without further ado Let's get into the review part of today's video. So this is the free trade homepage. I love this, it's really, really bright. Invest commission free. Investing is one of the best ways to grow your savings. We make it simple, beautiful, and free. Now, the interesting use of the word beautiful here, it's not often a word that is used with uh, investing. Um, I can definitely think of a number of words that people would use typically um, that aren't beautiful um, when describing investing in the market. But these guys are clearly trying to change the narrative, hence the use of this word. And 
it's a lovely word, I like it. Um, it gives me warm feelings straight away. So right, let's just go down here because really important stuff. So my checklist, as you know, if you watch all the review videos, checklist is really important. The first checklist is making sure that you have some protection. So you are protected under the financial services compensation scheme. And this is important because it allows you to invest up to 85,000 pounds with these guys. And if they go bust for any reason, insolvency, then you have a matter for recourse. That's the first of two. Now, the second one is typically in the footer. That's where everybody puts it. Um, and it's typically the first line, but these guys haven't. So where is it? It is down here. So Free Trade is a trading name of Free Trade Limited, which is a member firm of the London Stock Exchange and is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. You've got the registration number there as well. Now that phrase, authorized and regulated by the F Financial Conduct Authority, is an absolute must have. This is non-negotiable stuff. It's absolutely imperative that they are registered and authorized by the Financial Conduct Authority and that they're providing you protection under the Financial Services Compensation Scheme. Um, so those two things are a tick. So that's great news for free trade. Now I do just wanna snap straight back up here just to have a look at this very quickly, which is essentially their reviews, yes. A lot of people are using them. There are quite a few reviews here, 4.1 out of five, 361 reviews. And this is this is a comforting thing. If you're a first time investor, you're new to them, you wanna know that people who are using them are happy. And some of the reviews here are up to you know four hours ago. So easily the best trading plat free trading platform, easily the best free trading platform available, really easy to use app excellent customer service that is very very important the customer service side because you want to know that if um, anything goes wrong you've got a means to actually speak to someone to get your issues sorted now this is very very important you can invest in over 1400 us and uk listed stocks and etfs i'm going to come back to this very very briefly a bit later on uh, but let's go back up here and just come back to this section so if you followed me for a while, you know that I've always talked about ISIS and the fact that you need to start with tax-free savings first. In fact, tax efficiency is the first rule of financial planning. So when it comes to where you invest money, preferably what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are able to reduce your tax bill and use a, an investment vehicle, an investment option that allows you that luxury of reducing your tax bill. And ISA is a perfect way of doing that. You've got an allowance every single year that the government allows you to save into it, and it's just a no-brainer. So it's great that they're providing an ISA account for you to invest money in as a first-time investor, because that really is the first place you should start. The other thing I did want to highlight is invest for free forever. Commission-free instant orders. Now. In full transparency, I do have to challenge this, and I'll come back to this in a moment, but let's just move to this wide range of ETFs, which are great. They've got Vanguard, iShares in there, and more US and UK stock. So this is always very, very good to know, fast friendly support, but let's come back to this little point right here. And for that, I wanna come up here. I wanna to go to their pricing. Now on the pricing page, they do give a comparison, but I'm not gonna talk about that just yet. I wanna go down here. Now, this is their free account. Their basic free account is free. So in terms of trades, instant trades, there is no fee. However, I've just spoken about the fact that, you know, as a first time investor, you need to be looking at your ISIS first. And these guys do charge three pounds a month for their stocks and shares, ISA. Now, I'll come back to this because there are a couple of other fees in here as well. So if you buy stocks in USD, there's also going to be a little bit of a fee on the conversion right here. Now, this isn't the same or true with trading 212. Also, there is a five pound fee if you want bank transfers and you want them the money to basically hit your account the same day. Now, look, listen, three pounds a month isn't gonna break the bank for many people. However, if you are a first time investor, it's really important that you keep your cost down because you don't want fees eaten into your investment portfolio. And I've said here before as well that, you know, fees aren't the end all of be all. The real question is for three pounds a month, are you getting anything different in comparison to trading 212 who have this same function or same option, 
but don't charge a fee. So are they giving you anything over and above what Trading212 will offer you for your three pounds a month? It's 36 pounds a year, you times that by three, by four, by five, you're quickly getting into the hundreds and you know, little things matter and they do count. So I'd definitely be asking that question when it comes to that ISA account. It's not a deal breaker, but definitely something you need to consider and have in the back of your mind if you're doing a comparison. Now I do just want to jump back up here because what they do here is they give a comparison. And if I'm completely honest, I'm slightly surprised that they've not put Trading212 on here because Trading212 in my mind is their closest competitor based on what they do. With Hargreaves Lansdowne, Interactive Investor, AJ Bell, you cannot invest 10 pounds into Tesla stock. You have to have the full $1,500 to buy a Tesla stock. So I think what they're trying to do here is they're trying to put themselves with the big boys and put themselves in the big boy leagues and for good reason. It's all about how people are perceived, how brands are perceived. And by putting themselves in the same breath as Hargreaves Lansdowne, it gives a different impression of them. However, because they effectively facilitate fractional shares, then their closest competitor really is Trading212. Now let's have a look at this table just to see what they're doing when they do a comparison. Clearly, everything here is free. However, we know that there are some charges that I've highlighted before. But in comparison to Hargreaves Lansdowne, I, I hold most of my stock with Hargreaves Lansdowne. You do pay a trading fee. So there's 11.95, Interactive Investor, 799 AJ Bell 995 now I've worked with you know AJ Bell I know some of the representatives I've worked with them th with them through my career on cases uh, for clients and as an advisor so I know what these companies are about they've been around for a very very long time they are very well established free trade really is a baby in comparison to these three so I understand the perception of around it but again they're not doing exactly the same. Yes, you can buy shares, but free trade is all about fractional investing. These guys aren't. You have to have the money. So what, not really a, a massive point, but worthwhile pointing out. Now, another area that I wanted to go to is their stock list. So there are 1,400 US and UK stocks in the shares that you can invest in with free trade. Now, they are actually adding stocks onto their, onto their buy list, so to speak, every single week and there are more stocks coming online all of the time however when you do a comparison with them and trading 212 trading 212 have over 3000 stocks available for you to purchase in the US in the UK and globally and that includes ETFs as well so when you're looking at the stocks that you have access to straight away day 1 then trading 212 really do beat them on this because you can buy almost twice as many stocks and it's all about availability. And this may not be something that you'll be too concerned about as a first time investor, but for example, with me, my video last week, I was talking about the three stocks that I've got on my radar right now that I'm considering adding into my portfolio. And I'll talk about the kind of information that I look at and we'll come to the information part very, very shortly. But that one of the firms is not listed here um, on Trading212. They don't currently have them on offer and I'll show you very, very shortly when we jump onto my phone to look at the app specifically. But these are things that are important. If you have specific companies in mind that you want to invest in because you might have been speaking to friends or watched news or read, read papers, then you need to understand that that may not be available on Trading212. Again, it's not necessarily a deal breaker, but if you're looking for a wider choice, then they've only got 1,400 at this point in time. However, they are adding on a weekly basis to their buy list. As you would expect, it's you know New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ listed company. So you've got big tech, you know, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, all on there. That's fine. With fractional shares, you can invest from just two pounds into US stocks. Not just one pound, it's two pounds into into US stocks. And then in the UK, you're gonna have, you know, the, the London Stock Exchange, the FTSE 100, FTSE 350. You're also gonna have AIM stocks as well. Um, AIM stocks are basically the alternative investment market. The risk here is slightly higher than if you went for the FTSE 100 or even the FTSE 350, um, but you do have access to it here and you've also got access to um, ETFs as well. So that's really, really good in terms of their offering and your ability to invest in different vehicles. Now, 
ISA. Let's just have a look at this very, very quickly because it is the first place to start. You can transfer your ISAs, so you could have ISAs with uh, somebody else. You could have ISAs with Moneybox or Wealthify or Plum or Wombat or Wealth Simple, for example. You could transfer it over to these guys here and the process would be pretty simple. These things these days take uh, weeks and not months now uh, to transfer over, but you can do it. And that's always nice to know that it is a possibility if you wanted to consolidate all of your pen all of your ISAs, I should say, into one place. It's great here that they give you obviously the benefits of an ISA and they give you a little bit more details that you can you know read on about if you really wanted to get into the basics. And I would always encourage you, you know, do click on things like this just to see how they explain things and just to digest their language and how they put things across. You know, knowledge is power and knowledge applied particularly is power. So you wanna make sure that you're, you're taking every opportunity to learn and up your knowledge game. And this is really, this is just an article and it's quite brief. So that's what, two, three, maybe five minute read. Um, and it will give you the basics that you, that you need to get going on the right foot. Um, again, they've got the pricing comparison here just as a recap. Uh, for ISIS, but again, you need to bear in mind, and this is well, they have highlighted it here the three pound a month fee. Now, this is my account, I haven't funded this, and to be honest, I've got a Hargreaves land down at Trading 212. I don't want too many accounts, but if this review goes really, really well, I might fund it just to get an idea of the customer experience, so on and so forth. So I did have a look at this a little bit earlier on, and these are just a couple of uh, stocks that I just was playing around with. I own Tesla, so I wanted to have that in the watch list to show you guys, because again, when we look at the information that they're providing you, I know quite a lot about Tesla. I have a Tesla that I drive every day. I understand the business quite extensively. I've spoken about Tesla on another of my video when I talked about how you pick stocks. And again, I'm gonna place that right there. So if you wanna go and watch that, please, uh, please do. So this is my, um, this is essentially my my account. And what I wanna do here is I want to start having a look at, you know, things like insights. So with insights, for me, this is a little bit disappointing because it says here, once you've made your first investment, you'll see tools that will help you make well-informed investing choices. Now, with Trading212, the information is made available to you if you're doing your research. And I think they're missing a trick here because if I wanna buy a stock, I don't wanna to have to fund this or invest in order to find the information about the stock. And this is very, very important. If you're buying a company, it's really important that you understand not to the eighth degree what they do, whether they're profitable, who their customer base is, how many employees they have, what their balance sheet is. These are all fundamental things. It's, 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 for, it's for good reason that people like Warren Buffett have said for years that never buy a company that you don't understand. And you don't have to understand the minutia of the business, but you need to at least understand very well what they do. I would want information, insights. This is something that Trading212 do really well. They break down the information. So the fact that it's not here is slightly disappointing, but let's have a look around and see what it looks like when I go onto Tesla specifically on my watch list. Now, what information are they providing me? We've got a little bit about, so Tesla Motor Inc. Um, the brainchild of Elon Musk, the famous entrepreneur, this tech firm creates electric cars, solar roof panels, and energy storage systems. That's very, very basic. It gives me stats up here. So market open, $1,488. The high was $1,513.24. The low, $1,471. So these are just stats over a period of time. I would assume that this is, these are stats for the current day. Um, but if they aren't stats for the current day, the questions I would ask is, okay, so how far back are they looking for these highs and these lows? Is it six months? Is it 12 months? Is it two weeks? Is it a month? I have no way of knowing at this point, and you can't click on this for any further information, and you can't click on about either for any further information. So as a first-time investor, you have to ask yourself, how are you gonna learn more about this company? Essentially, if you're gonna be using free trade, what it means is that you have to use Google. You have to research and 
go to external sources to find the information that you need. That isn't really convenient. Trading212 do this uh, way better. They provide you that information. One thing that they do do that I had a look at very, very briefly earlier, which I do love, is they do provide you with their cost and charges. So it's telling you no stamp duty, no one-off charges, no ongoing charges, no trans transaction, no incidental costs. And it also gives you a little bit of a, uh, of a quotation almost. So it says the following charges are based on an, an example, 5,000 pound investment held for five years, invested using the basic account and basic trades, assuming an underlying 5% growth. Now, this is fantastic because again, it reiterates the charges. There are no charges whatsoever, but here at the bottom, it tells you what your investment will be worth after five years if you attain a 5% return year on year. 6,381. This allows you to plan with some numbers. And this is something that, you know, financial advisors would do. They'll project what your investment might be worth. This is a very, very good touch. I don't think Trading212 do this. Um, I certainly haven't seen it with Trading212. So this, for me, is a great, great, great point. But let's just go back out very quickly just to the rest of the app. Activity, this is one thing they do really, really well as well. I've spoken about this before, that if you are you know, buying shares in companies specifically, you do have to pay tax, and that's just the reality of the world. And with monthly statements, if you've bought a stock, you've sold a stock, then that is going to be in your monthly statement. And that's important because you need to keep track of your dividends if you're receiving dividends. And you also need to keep track of your capital gains because you have to pay dividends tax and capital gains tax on your investment. So having it in a monthly format like this basically means that you'll know what capital gain you've, you've made. And you'll also know if you've had any dividend payments and what kind of dividends you've actually earned so you can keep tracking it against your dividends allowance and your capital gains allowance. I will do a separate video on the tax side of investing uh, very, very shortly. But having monthly statements like this for me is fantastic. There isn't really much else that I can walk you through here on the app. I was going to just search one thing and just give you the example that I gave you earlier. So in my video last week where I talked about three stocks that I have on my radar, Intech, Pharma was one of the firms that I'm looking at, basically putting into my portfolio. These guys are not listed currently on free trade. So again, if you're looking at specific companies, they may not be available. So if you're a first time investor, and you have specific companies in mind, do that research first to see whether they're available. But again, they are adding companies onto their buy list every single week, so not a deal breaker. The other thing that they do that I really, really like, if I can find it, is they do highlight what sectors are. If you've watched, again, previous videos, I've talked about the fact that you need to diversify your portfolio, 12 to 20 stocks across sectors, across geographical regions. Now, sectors can be confusing, but they list all of the sectors here. There's tech, energy, food and drink, entertainment, mining, utilities, professional services, property, there's a lot. So the fact that they break them down and list them according to the companies that are within them. So for example, with cars, you're gonna have Tesla in here somewhere, but you've also got, you know, Aston Martin, Auto Trader, you know, uh, Copart. This is very, very important. Ferrari, Ford, GM, Motors, this is very, very important. So the fact that they provide you that detail is good. In closing this, are they better than trading 212? Based on the information, which is really important for you guys to know when you're making your investment decisions, specifically if you're buying shares directly, then no. Trading 212 definitely do a better job at that part. However, with the monthly statements and breaking sectors down and the little um, quotation that they give you, being very, very transparent about their cost on the app are also great things that they do. Does this mean that you shouldn't use them? Absolutely not. But these are certainly things that you should bear in mind and things that should be in your considerations when you're picking your provider and ask questions for that extra three pounds a month that you're paying for an ISA. What do you get for it? Is it just for the privilege of having an account or is there an added benefit? Very, very important questions. Um, I would love to know if any of you guys are using free trade. What are your experiences? Did I miss anything? Let me know. Um, tell me your thoughts. Do you have more research um, information available once you've bought a stock? I would have liked to have had that information right now so I can read more and 
and, and understand the company that I'm going to buy. But maybe that is something that you, that you get once you purchased. If that is your experience, please do let me know in the comments. Please do leave messages. Guys, if you're not listening to my podcast, the artwork is right there. It's available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. Um, you guys have been amazing finding me on IG as well. My IG tag is also here on this screen. So please make sure you find me. I do take questions on um, Instagram. So if you have any questions, feel free to direct message me there. But thank you so much for watching this video. Until next week, take care.